we created something fantastic, and I show that to you afterwards. Okay, That's the our shotgun. shotgun. Um, we started to measure the implementation of the program okay. of PM at Siemens. We started to measure the maturity of our project awesome. organizations, yep. yeah, with uh, so-called MPM assessments, mm -hmm. maturity in project management, and we started to present first tools to our people. Awesome. Yeah? So that was basically what we worked uh, on for approximately more than a decade. Mm. And, after and, and that, I think that's important to mention that. Yes. I think a lot of people think, ah, project management maturity, goes, ah. let me let me buy a, 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 a an Isalbe, we say in German, a, yeah, a cream yeah, that I rub yeah. myself with and tomorrow. Let's I'm, engage Mark yeah, and after half a year, yeah, or even everything worse, is done. Even worse, yeah, the concept, yeah. let's let's hire an external consultant and then next year it'll be that way. It'll be done. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I think what's really, really important and this, I can't, I can't stress this even more. I think what people need to realize is maturity is not a destination, it's a journey. Absolutely. Okay. And it remains a journey. And it's it remains and it's a necessary way to go mm -hmm. to be successful, actually. Absolutely. I think this is great. And, Where do and we want we talk about that, whatever you like to talk well, about. Let, let's 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 pick it out. Let's start off with processes. Actually, there's one topic I, I kind of wanted to lead into, and I want to kind of go back to that 2003 thing and kind of uh, tie into that concept. Yes. I, I I myself could probably off the top of my head, based on some of the business units that I work with worked with could probably identify at least six or seven different project management standards or initiatives at PM. All, all fairly solid, some more widespread, some less widespread, but very little interaction between the tif different project teams. Not the same vocabulary, not the same processes, which made it a, a little bit cumbersome in, in mm -hmm. exchanging and also kind of promoting and, and, and mm -hmm. communicating the good work mm -hmm. you did. Now, you guys decided, no, no, that's not the way we want to go. We want to create un uniformity. And, and you decided to create one standard for Siemens, okay? Let me ask you, how, how, was that, how was that received by those that already had a standard? Good answer. <laughs> yep. Um, let's start with this. Um, project management is no rocket science. Yes, absolutely. It's yeah. common sense it's, in, to, to a certain level. To a certain level, common sense yeah. and maybe um, written down and reflected yeah. common sense. Yeah? So um, it is not like we went out there, checked what was available, came back and said nothing fits yeah, Siemens yeah. and we created something yeah. completely on our own. No, but um, we looked left and right and found lots of good bits and pieces mm -hmm. and sim simply translated it into something that is streamlined for what we are yeah. standing for. Um, and I think this is the basic idea and, and the, the very exciting thing was we had projects mm -hmm. at Siemens, we still have, that go into the billions yeah, yeah. of euros. Mega projects, And we yeah. have projects that have a volume of maybe 20,000, You're talking about 50, scale. And I, I about really scale. want to talk about scale because I think Siemens, of all the company I know, is probably one of the most brilliant scaling concepts, which, by the way, you don't find in the Penbar Guide. No. Nobody ever, the Penbar Guide is one size fits all, yeah. which is not which accurate. Not, yeah. um, but I, I don't want to let you quite off the book no, yet. Because don't, don't let you, me. you had, I would almost say, um, we all, everybody had the same faith, but a different version of the faith, yeah. to use a metaphor, right? Yeah. So um, some, of, some of your people were leaning into the different organizations. There were some parts of Siemens that were like into IPMA or yeah. PMA yeah. or GPM, yeah. Yeah. right? All great organizations. Yeah. Uh, some said, no, 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 we have to go international, more international, we have to do PMI, right? So you theoretically, when you decided to make a, 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 a one model, I'm sure all these, all these people came with their, their models and said, take mine, take mine, take mine. And you were in danger, and I think a lot of organizations are in this danger, that when the board commits to one standard, all of a sudden you have 50 people talking to you from different areas saying, take mine, take mine, take mine. How did you overcome the potential of losing time and synergy through what we call religious wars, because I agree with mm -hmm. you. Um, no matter what standard you or I take into our hands, we mm -hmm. can look at it, mm -hmm. and we have a framework in our mind mm -hmm. that where we can match it. Mm -hmm. and in German, there's a wonderful saying, um, all cooks cook with water. This, it's the same ingredients. Yeah. Whether this comes first or that comes second, mm -hmm. nobody really cares. Whether you use a different word for it, nobody cares. At the end of the day, it's, it, there's a certain common sense, but it's not common sense unless you have a common standard. I, I think um, when you take the full complexity mm -hmm. of project management, there are lots of issues open that we don't tackle 
in depth mm-hmm. and where we are completely open to so you leave, existing you, yeah, standards. Okay. Um, we are completely open to such standards, mm-hmm. and I will show you that at some point when mm-hmm. we talk about certification. certification okay. Because there, we, I think we proved uh, how closely we work together. Um, Basically, with both big organizations, a little bit more with IPMA, but um, that's just um, how it developed mm-hmm. over the years. And um, yes, so we did not have a religious war. Yeah. We never had. No, because yeah. what you did, and I think this is really great, your board members committed, they put their foot down and said, listen, we're not going to have this discussion. And I think and, and I think you also avoided kind of the PMI-IPMA conflict thing. There was an executive decision, and because there was a concrete executive decision, people said, okay, I can live with that eventually. Right? Yeah, and, and maybe it was even simpler than that. Um, in the beginning, in a time where I was not there, I think there was lots uh, of, of, of topics developed internally. Mm -hmm. So there was no big uh, going out uh, to the market and and discussing. And once it was developed to a certain level, and again, I told you we looked left and right Mm -hmm. and so on, it was there. And when we then went out, and you remember how it was in 2004, 2005 and 2006 and so on, there was already so much there that people said, "Oh, wow, that looks." Well, like you didn't really want to reinvent good, yeah? the wheel. You didn't want to waste. No, your, you didn't no. want to your, you waste your internal resources and time and efforts no. in completely reinventing the wheel. Okay? Absolutely not. So, so how did you come up? What what standard? Because, quite honestly, I, I think this is kind of your. It, it's a mixture of many standards, but it's actually kind of your own standard, isn't it? Isn't didn't wasn't the Siemens solution to say, listen, there are some organizations we can work together with the them. language and 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 certain. Points are yeah. our um, standards, mm-hmm. yes. Um, they fit into other standards and mm-hmm. you can map them if, with other standards if you need. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And I will show you over the time that um, this picture will look completely different now in 2022 yeah. Yeah, because we've developed again. Yeah. And well, we you have to think about agile much concepts, more open, concept, Exactly, yeah. we're much more open to other concepts and yeah. other methodologies and also the process has widened. We have basically one standard with you know cornerstones and within this standard you can fit even within our company four five six different other standards or so yeah i I do want to point this out though because i think i think uh, a lot of companies will one way or the other and i we can name companies in both directions some companies say listen we're going to make it easy we'll go we'll 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 align ourselves with the pmi methodology others will say no we'll align ourselves with the ipma some people say they'll do prints too um, but what I what I think is great uh, with what Siemens did, and I think you avoided a lot of conflict with this. You said, you know what? No, we're going to do our own our own brand. I mean, there is some some how should I say in German we say Wiedererkennungseffekt. There's a certain um, uh, identification yes. where you can say this this could have been from here or could have been. But ultimately, you came out loud and proud. And and I I will be honest when I first when I first found this out, I was kind of I was kind of surprised. I was kind of surprised that. That Siemens, excuse my language, would have the balls to come out with their own standard. But after thinking about it just for a couple of minutes, I thought, you know, hats off. It's more work. But I thought it was a brilliant way to make a statement within the organization and to kind of avoid any of this discussion. Ah, we should have gone with this standard or we should have gone with that standard. Because now the discussion is we're not talking about that standard or that standard. We're talking about our standard. And that's in reality what most organizations are looking for. Yeah. Okay. 